Hello, and you're welcome to our series on SAP Business Planning and Consolidation. For today's session, we'll be looking at an overview of SAP Business Planning and Consolidation. For the agenda, we'll be looking at what SAP Business Planning and Consolidation is, the versions of SAP BPC, some benefits of SAP BPC, and the structure of SAP Business Planning and Consolidation. SAP Business Planning and Consolidation is an application that forms part of the SAP EPM management suite of software. It focuses on budgeting, planning, forecasting, and financial consolidation. SAP Business Plan and Consolidation has three main versions, which includes SAP Business Plan and Consolidation for Microsoft, which serves as a standalone and can be integrated with other non-SAP systems. SAP Business Plan and Consolidation for NetWeaver or Business Warehouse, which comes with the standard and embedded options. Then finally, we have the SAP BPC optimized end group reporting. This is recommended for organizations that have a full S4 finance implementation. Complementing BPC with SAC, which is SAP Analytics Cloud, provides more flexible planning, forecasting, and visualization power to the client. Some benefits of SAP BPC includes making of better decisions based on what if analysis and scenario based planning. Familiar and easy to use interfaces such as the web browser and also provides support for Microsoft tools like Excel, Word, PowerPoint. SAP BPC provides planning and consolidation in one product, which enables flexible planning and consolidation functions. Now we look at the structure of SAP BPC. The structure of SAP BPC as per client requirement is built on environments, models, and dimensions. Now environment, an environment, serves as a workspace in BPC or an info area from a BW perspective. Within an environment, we then go ahead to create our models and dimensions. A model is a collection of several dimensions created to meet the planning and consolidation requirements of the organization or the client. An example of a model could be our CAPEX, which is our capital expenditure, or our HCM, which is human capital management. A dimension is created to store master data. So within the model, we have dimensions. In the dimensions is where we have our properties and our members, which is where we store our master data. Looking at the structure here, we are able to see the environment and three models created in the environment. We are also able to see our different dimensions, but we also realize that two dimensions are being used in two models, and one dimension is being used in three models. This is to say that we can have the same, the same dimension being used by different models, but then all, all these dimensions are in the same environment. So we can have a dimension in one environment being used in a different environment. So all our dimensions in the same environment can be used by multiple models. This brings us to our, this brings us to the end of our session on a brief overview of SAP business planning and consolidation. Please don't forget to like the video. Leave your comments below and also to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.